Are you all ready to go on a journey? A journey of epic proportions. Because I am. Yeah! Hey everybody, welcome to the Meister Blue channel where I am going to be playing South Park The Stick of Truth. I am playing this on the PlayStation 3 because I don't have it on PC. It's my only excuse. No other reason other than that, really. Robert T. Pooter presents a Pooter Pictures production. Deep in the lands of Zaran, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them, a noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attacks. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid, before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick, controls the universe. Hell yeah! I really, really love this game. I've I've played it, yes, I have played it. Uh, I have not played it to the end, so I do not know what happens after a certain point. But I have played this game, and I'm pretty decent at RPGs, turn-based RPGs in particular, so I, I, I feel pretty decent at this game. Um... What do I want to make myself look like this time around? Oh god, uh, that's a good question. I, just, I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna do... Yeah, it's already red. Um, I'm gonna make myself look like how I looked in high school. Because that sounds like a fun idea. Um, I'll do a little scarf. I like the scarf. I like scarves. Scarves are cool. I wore a black sweater and... Darker blue stuffs. I am Ginger Man, so I have freckles. And I am supposed to be wearing glasses all the time, but I never do. So I'm not going to do that. And it just occurred to me that my character looks a lot like Peppermint Patty. Or not Peppermint Patty, um, was that her name? Peppermint Patty, the girl from, uh, Snoopy? The Peanuts? The, the one who, who liked Chuck? I know it's not Patty Mayonnaise, she's, she's from Doug. Moving. <laughs> Cause South Park has cows in it. Well, I think that's everything. <coughs> Did it, hun? We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally. Oh uh, no! To be I gotta good. make sure the the subtitles can be turned on. Be better for him. They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey champ, how do you like your new room? I dig it. I know it's a big change for all of us, but son, do you remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good, that's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie, we want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right, get outside and play, son. Like, like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> I love it. I love that I'm a silent protagonist. Also, um, yeah, let me check this real quick. Uh, options. Um, difficulty, I'll keep it on normal. I'm actually decent at this game. I have yet to die, so maybe that'll be a first in this. Uh, no, not lost. I want, I want acceptable. Or apply. Yes, apply. Sweet. Inventory. I got nothing. I should have something. I, I'm supposed to have... Oh, I don't think I get those until I choose my class. I, I have... I bought the game new. I hunted down a new copy, and I ended up getting the the, fellow, the Ultimate Fellowship um, package that gives you slightly better uh, gear for the individual um, classes in the game. Is there a way to turn off the tutorials? 
I'm not seeing a way. Which sucks. Wait, does it help? Nope. I want to turn the tutorials off. I know the game. I don't know what all happens in the game, but I know the game. Mom, Dad, let me in your room. Yes, but if you are a fan of South Park in any way, shape, or form, or ever were a fan of South Park, I highly recommend you get this game, because this game is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's just like the best absolute thing ever. And, if you have the mashing ability, you can poop! And then take it out, and use it as a weapon in fights. Um, I'm likely not going to be 100%ing this, because I don't know if I want to. Uh, that'll be... I'll do what I want. And whatever, I do it. Yeah, I will do what I want, and after that, I, I'll mainly just go through the story, but... If there's something I think is an important side quest, I will go do it. Because there are a good few side quests in this game. Hi, Dad. Come on, son. Get out there. Make Okay. Friends. Hi, Dad. You're really going to go outside with that Jeez, hair? Dad, that was rude. So you realize that your hair Why looks was like you that? tormenting me like this? Oh, no. It's Terrence and Philip. Also, um, if you guys, if you guys are, like, thinking about playing this game, or if you already have and still haven't seen it... You should check out, there is a, a trilogy of South Park episodes leading up to this game. And they are, they are Game of Thrones themes. That's the three-part Game of Thrones South Park series that leads directly into this game. So I highly recommend watching those. They are on the site, um, the, I think it's, it's not comedy, it's South Park's website, I think. They're also on the Comedy Central website, um, for streaming. And... They're so funny. Yay, butters! Hey, everybody! There's a new kid playing with us. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to do his voice. I can't get that octave. And me and him are friends. That way, nobody picks on him. <laughs> it's funny if you know who Butters is. Butters is honestly my favorite character in South Park. It's it's. There's no comp there's no um. Contest. He is my favorite character. He has my all-time favorite uh, line, and it's during the episode where Wendy dumps Stan, and Stan becomes goth. And Butters got this little speech near the end of it that's just like the most amazing thing that's ever come out of South Park. I am the Wizard King, but the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. And of course, Cartman is the Gandalf. Gross out attacks. Gross out inflicts damage over time. Yeah, it does. Why do oh, I look so down? Friend, Eric? Wow, I really Shut am me in high school. Evil Cartman goatee. Ooh, I'm gonna. I, I want that. I want that. I want that. Die. There we go. <laughs> It's, 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 uh, Scuzzlebutt! Scuzzlebutt! He's got Patrick Duffy for a leg. I do not want to skip. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. Our weapon shop here is tended by Clyde, a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson. Who has the power of diabetes? <laughs> and here, of course, is the breath. Princess Kenny is Zelda. Kenny. Look it, the it's Zelda. All the kingdom. Don't ask why Kenny wanted to be a chick. It's just how he seems to be rolling right now. I love it. I love it. The best part about this game, the all-time best part about this game, is that all of the all the stuff right here. This is stuff I would I would have done and probably did do as a kid. I built forts and everything. I built castles and pirate ships and all that, like cardboard boxes and everything. It's this is when I first played this. It hit me right in the childhood. I was like, oh god, I remember doing all this stuff. And then there's some, some things that I don't quite remember doing. Which I'm actually kind of glad that I don't quite remember doing. But whatever. You have been sought out, <coughs> kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. My name? My name is... Blue Regard. 
Can I add more? How long can I go? Vaughn. Lol. Zenstein. Yeah. You entered douchebag. Is that no. correct? Are you sure you want to keep the name douchebag? No. Very well, douchebag. You will now choose a class. Damn it, Cartman. Spider, mage, thief, or Jew. Oh, what class do I want to play? I I always pick a thief because thief is my favorite class in this game, but I don't know if I want to try that. My buddy was playing as a fighter, and I looked up what Jews do because I just wanted a good chuckle. I'm gonna be a mage. I've never played a mage before in this game, and I typically don't play mage classes in anything. The closest is World of Warcraft Shadow Priest. That's that's the closest thing to a mage that I have ever played. Procure yourself a weapon, and we shall teach you to fight. But now I'm a I'm a wazard. I'm a wazard. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars. Sure. Don't waste your money on tips. Oh, did that really cost me a dollar. <laughs> I don't want that to have cost me a dollar. Magic wand. Ah, Sweet. Um, equipment. I can't buy any of that stuff. Flare. I can't buy any of that stuff. Weapon strap-ons. Can't buy any of that stuff. I have purchased my first weapon. Magic wound. I'm gonna totally try and become as much of a caster as this game will allow. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up that. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. <laughs> what I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, kick his ass. Yeah! I'm gonna beat you up, Clyde. I'm coming to get you. I'm gonna hit you with the stick. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh, no, no, that's my line. You have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden time. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. <laughs> I know it's lame, Clyde, I love his logic. I'm fucking doing it. I love it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face. It's historically, historically accurate that this is how fighting was back in the day. Magic wand, yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. <laughs> All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Oh, God, I... New kid has checked out everything in my backyard. Hardcore gamer, wow. What was that? Boom! Didn't count. Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood. <laughs> Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to get armor like that. I will point okay, out that this I live in Fresno, uh, which is middle of nowhere California area. Um I will point out the this game was pretty much sold out everywhere in Fresno when it came out. Cause me and my buddy went looking for a copy and no place had it. It was gone. My biggest hope is that this game, because this game is amazing, is that they made so much money that they're going to be making the sequel, because I want a sequel. So bad. I don't know what they would be able to do or what changes they'd be able to do, but I, I have a complete faith in them. Magical time! What magics? Ooh, dark and breath. Mash X. I, I'm a champion masher. Playing Sly Cooper as a kid taught me how to button mash like you wouldn't believe. You've got nothing on me. That's awesome. I already have a fire attack. I use I use a lot of fire and uh, bleeding in this game as status effects, and so it's awesome that I start off with a fire attack. Oh, I made him cry. I'm sorry, Clyde. No, I'm sorry. Dude, that was awesome! You were all like, beam, and Clyde was all like, nah, nah. <laughs> okay, okay, you've proved yourself worthy, douchebag. Now come inside the war tent, and I shall let you see the relic. I'm sorry, Clyde. Would you like to see my wares weary? You okay? Are you alright, buddy? <laughs> Feels so horrible. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The stick of truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the stick of truth, let's discuss your dues. Dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs nine ninety five for the first week. Four dollars. Oh my god! Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! Alarm, alarm, alarm! What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive position! Can I take the stick? Don't gaze at it too long. I'm going to gaze. 
I feel a strange connection to this wondrous, wondrous stick. Almost as if it's calling to me. Onward to battle! Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Climb! Guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, guys! Too bad. This is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all Yes, time. sir! Yes, sir, Cartman, sir. I will fight them all. I'll kick all their asses. Oh, no, there's two of them. Do it, douchebag. Kick these elves' asses. You're wounded, douchebag. Potions will heal you here. I gotta eat some cheesy poofs. Yeah, I want the cheesy poofs. Rule say you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this is coming. Back. This guy's fast, you Try to block all his attacks. Oh no. Okay, if you block all the attacks, Pokemon I bought with my wand. Kick the shit out of him. Sounded way more dirty than I was intending it to, but whatever. Finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. Cool thing is, I can actually, I have a ranged attack from the very, very, very get-go. A decent ranged attack, I think, unless, unless my magic attack isn't that ranged. Which I would hope it is. Magic is supposed to be ranged. But it looks like I ran up and did that, so maybe I'm not. One thing I like is that you regenerate health and PP throughout the entire fight. Or not through the fight, every time you end a fight. Which makes it easy for you to, like, keep going. Can I loot my buddy? Is that Scott? Yep, that's Scott. Oh, hamburgers! I'll save you, butters! My pally bro! Let's all be honest here. Butters is the definitive sun bro of this game. Oh no, I don't like this part. Uh, you can't do anything but try and smack him. You ass. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bit. Now I suddenly have arrows. Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mist. My primary character in this game has been a thief that uses bleeding and flame attacks. And primarily always uses arrows. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Switch to something else? I got just the thing. Yeah! Oh god. I feel so powerful. Great job, douchebag. I probably can't take like any damage whatsoever, because that's the basic concept of a mage. Is you can't take any hits whatsoever, but what you do is massive damage really quickly. So I'm going to be curious to see how playing a mage is in this game. Especially since this game doesn't technically really have classes. The only difference between the classes is the abilities Let's you get. This, and I guess that can be considered a big complaint. I know people who have complained about it is that okay, that's that the main problem. Be... Honestly, uh, yeah, it is kind of annoying. It'd be better if they made it so like you can wear like certain items if you are a certain class or use certain weapons or whatnot. <clears throat> But I guess they were trying to give everyone as much freedom as they could. Boom! <laughs> I want to use fire again. I'm gonna. I'm a mage. I want to use my magics. And now he's on fire. Now try and hit me. Good boink. Poke. And then go over there and burn. I love it! I love it! Drow elves, fall back! Fall back, I say! Yes! Awesome, dude! Take that, you asshole elves! Better luck next time! Na 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 na! We still control the universe! <laughs> it's God. What? 
The stick of truth. The elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah! Go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, <laughs> you can make me a douchebag, but you sure can't fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you do. <laughs> Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The stick of truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and six Not six graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go! And send my warriors here! And that I shall do, I your highness!